Peace family, we live again from the Black Ma. Welcome to the Third Eye Tribe. <clears throat> and um, I want to give y'all a, a update on our travel to Africa. And um, I want to apologize to y'all for taking so long with the content. I haven't dropped a video in about, I want to say it's been about three months. <laughs> but um, excuse me for that, y'all family. But um. It's been a, it's been a process trying to come up with this Nigerian visa. If y'all don't know, it's it's a process trying to get a Nigerian visa when you don't have an African passport. But um, Nigeria is still in the works. Um, but this is the update. We will be moving to Ta uh, Tanzania, East Africa. It's a lot of repatriates going there. Uh, also, I can't wait to link with a lot of y'all that's already landed on the continent, East Africa, Tanzania. But um, it's a lot of YouTubers that inspired us to come to Tanzania. And also the uh, late president, uh, Magafuli, and his um, ideas on the world and health. As y'all already know, in America, this COVID um, vaccine shot has got everybody going crazy or you know people don't really know how to wrap their heads around the situation a lot of people looking for escape routes they don't know what to do when this stuff becomes mandated if it does i believe that it will but um out here in tanzania uh the new president i'm sorry for not knowing her name off the top of my head y'all but um shout out to her but um she said that the vaccine will be uh, not mandatory. It'll be your own choice to take it. And we choose not to. No matter where I go in this world, it don't matter. I'm not trying to take the shot. And I'm not leaving specific, leaving America specifically for that reason because they forcing a new you know, vaccine amongst the masses. I think I um, hit the nail on the head while we deciding to leave America already in a previous video that I made but as a black man in America especially a young black man who's looking for opportunities and stuff man uh, who's not trying to be a rapper who's not trying to be um an entertainer or nothing like that like come on man we nation building that's what we trying to do that's my purpose I'm on I'm in my late 20s but the rest of my life and my energy will be um spent contributing to um, the growth and the infrastructure of the black mind in the areas where black people uh, live in the world. I'm not claiming to be the richest man in the world. And this, this one thing that I'm trying to prove to myself and to the world, you don't need a million dollars to have a million dollar house. <laughs> you don't need $100,000 to have a $100,000 house. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to go pay contractors all of this money to build these things for you when you could spend your time researching it for yourself and go out here and do this stuff, man. So that's going to be uh, my main mission in life, main test in life for me, is to put my energy and mind to use to build my dream home, one for my kid. I mean, same for my kid to pass down generational wealth to my uh, kid and kids plan to have more. But um, I believe that we we must do this. This has to be done, y'all, uh, for black people. We got to stop thinking it um, in terms of you have to pay for something. Because before money, you know, existed, you know, we we just traded with skill, we traded with skill, and other objects, resources. Money is not a resource. And I wanna I wanna put people back to work, man. In, in America, we we became lazy with all the systems and institutions and stuff that they got um, in place. So, we got to bring back this hard-working spirit. I watch a lot of videos of um, 
builders in Africa, local builders. And these people was putting in work. These people was putting in work, y'all. And it's really mind-blowing to see so many black people in unity building. And they come on the, the work site with their food. They eat, you know. And it's diasporans who uh, moved to the continent. And they hired the locals to build for them. And the locals just behave a certain way, you know. I watch the same thing in America over here. Um, you go to some work sites and stuff like that, construction sites, and you see Mexicans. And it's a group of them. And they all eat together and stuff like that. You know, just like what I see in Africa. So that's what I'm, I'm starting to notice, like patterns, you know. And it's just from visual observations from the Internet. People say, oh, you can't get all this uh, information from the Internet. It's a, it's a video. You know what I'm saying? That's not being edited or nothing like that. So I watch these videos and I see these um, groups of uh, Africans, different countries too. I see it in Senegal. I see it in Rwanda. I see it in Nigeria. I see it in Ghana. I see it in a couple places, man. It's probably all over places that I haven't seen. Groups of black people who build in, in unison. Yeah. The materials is all it really take. The materials is all it really take. And another uh, aspect, we got to start making the materials too. We got to start creating these things, y'all. Like I heard somebody say something about um, we need a backhoe. We need to buy a backhoe or some some huge machine that you, you use to um, weld or... Um, excavate the dirt from the ground or even agricultural work like you need these big machines for stuff like this but we must build like um the nigerian company uh innocent they create their own cars and vehicles military vehicles ghana they got the kantanka they create their own vehicles you know what i'm saying and we must do the same. It's a lot of black Americans very intelligent. It's a black man who, um, he remodels or he fixes Tesla cars. And I want to say it's like, I want to say it's some work. It take, it take a lot of work to do what I want to say or some, a lot of intelligence. But the guy has both and he branded himself. And it's just an amazing experience just to see a black person because we look down upon y'all, whether y'all want to admit this or not. We look down upon, we keep giving ourselves all this praise. Hey, our ancestors from Africa, we built the pyramids. We had so many great civilizations in the beginning of time. And it's like other races is looking at us and we looking at ourselves like bro we ain't building nothing now we ain't building nothing you know what i'm saying so that's the spirit that we got to show the world y'all as a people we really gotta have that as a as a goal to do every day y'all is to be building something structures even not even just building the land till the land um, turn your land into agricultural uh, environments and stuff to feed the people. I was seeing videos um, of people who were saying, some African country, they were saying that they um, import a lot of the, uh, some vegetable, and they import a lot of it. I was like, man, you got all of that grass, I mean, all of that land in Africa, and y'all can't make y'all own vegetables? Not to be talking down on nobody, but let's go back to black America. Our communities, neighborhoods. Man, you got so many abandoned homes in, I'm in Mississippi, as y'all already know, just in Mississippi. Abandoned homes everywhere. And everybody working a job for somebody else, 
some other race of person got some company going and he hiring the Negroes. And the Negroes is in there working, getting a check, getting their taxes back every year. And it don't cross their mind to buy the abandoned homes or abandoned buildings around and turn Mississippi into something. Little black heaven. It could be like Atlanta. I, I ain't never been to Atlanta. But the stigma of Atlanta, what you hear about Atlanta, is like this black mecca. So, all black people think you go to Atlanta and you'll be a successful black person. But, um, we can do that anywhere, y'all. We can do that anywhere. Especially in places like Africa. Cash is king in Africa. And black Americans, it look like we poor over here in America, but the um, conversion over there, it'll be like, you got some money, but you got to spend it wisely. You really have to budget your money and you have to put your mind and your energy behind what you do. I don't see too many people putting their energy behind what they doing. They putting their money behind it. But once you put yourself behind it, it'll work a little better for you, for you, because you doing it. See what I'm saying? I come to find that out about life as a young man. We got to put our feet and our hands into some work. And create our own work that you happy doing. Now, I can imagine this already. After I build my first home, I can be able to look at that and be like, man, I built that. I ain't buy that. I built that. You know what I'm saying? And um, the second one after that, man, I built that. And that, over time, you would just be looking at things you built. And after you pass, or even while you're here, still uh, on the earth, it's going to be times to where other people you don't know will see your structure and be in awe and so much appreciation or maybe can't even fathom how your structure was built. How much time, how much work it took for you to do these things. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Give me a minute, y'all. Family came in. Say what's up to the, uh, to the tribe. What's up? What's up, tribe? What's up, tribe? Yeah, so y'all, we gotta work, work on this building, y'all. I notice a lazy spirit amongst our people. And if it ain't lazy, it's the lack of intelligence. People can't even uh, uh, visualize what they want to do. A lot of people living with no goals, no aspirations, no nothing. I talk to these people, man. I let these people know, like, hey, I'm finna do this. And these people tell me, like, man, you, that's too much. Like, yo... Your dreams is too big. <laughs> like, bro, I'm just trying to build a crib. Like, like, come on now, man. There's other people doing it. You know what I'm saying? That same person I've been talking to hit the lottery and came up on a million dollars. He gonna spend about half of that on this big, huge house that's already built. He don't even see the appreciation of how many people it took to put the structure together or nothing. That's wild. But, um, that's exactly what life is, where, where life is taking me. Um, I want to hit some of these points. Um, like I said, we no longer going to Nigeria right off the back. Eventually, we do plan on get, making it to Nigeria. But we going straight to Tanzania, East Africa. We don't know which, um, region yet. But, um, We've been thinking about Arusha, Morogoro, uh, uh, how you say this? 
Iringa, Iringa, Dar es Salaam, and those are four that we've been considering so far. Um, if any of y'all got suggestions, let us know in the comment section. But um, for the mission and the um, for the mission that I have, I don't know which region will um will serve me best. But it's a lot of things that I'm trying to avoid too, like the city life. Um, a lot of African countries I know just trying to uh, imitate um, European lifestyles and American lifestyles, and I'm trying to get away from that. You know what I'm saying we fully spiritual. We still have fun, y'all. We still have fun, but we spiritual people, man positive spiritual people so uh we also been thinking about like if we just so happen to not like tanzania for some reason it's neighboring countries that we would like to visit or maybe repatriate to maybe kenya or rwanda it's a youtuber that i know repatriated to uganda and I want to say that they like, they enjoy their Ugandan experience. And like I said, I have no problem with no um, African country or no African tribes or nobody. I'm willing to embrace them all, you know, and learn from them too. So, uh, Burundi is close too. I don't know too much about Burundi. I have to do some research into that, but um, shout out to Burundi. Uh, we should be leaving America in about a month, a month or a little less than that, but I want to say the end of June for sure. The end of June, we are ready to pay for our flights, me, my son, and my queen. When we taking flight, man. We're gonna land in Tanzania. And we've been learning a little Swahili too. Uh, since we came up on this decision that we are going to Tanzania. And the decision has only been final for about um, a week. Or am I tripping? It's probably been about a week and a half. Probably a week and a half. But yeah. We definitely going to Tanzania, though. And uh, as y'all can see, behind me, we packed a whole lot of bags. One, two, three, four. We still got one more bag to get. Plus our, like, book bags and stuff like that. But um, we plan on taking no shipping, shipping cart, I mean, shipping container, or nothing like that. We're not taking our household with us. Just taking our clothes and and that should be it we'll build our life from there and then and then check this out too just the builders aspect we plan on building our own uh, bed frame right like man y'all don't realize how how simple life is man when you look at your bed frame it's wood cut and carved into whatever the artist decided to make it into. Y'all gotta know how to start cutting wood, man. <laughs> God damn. This is crazy, man. Just, cause I used to be a person who used to just walk, just walk past stuff. Oh, that's the table. That's that. That's that. That's the entertainment system. That's a, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like uh, the origin, the origin. We're going to do another video talking about the origin of things, language, uh, words, and just the origin of life, everything, because that's what matters. We only hear because of the origin of everything. And um, yeah. Why Tanzania? Why Tanzania? 
from me observing videos from repatriates and also locals who make videos about Tanzania. The culture is rich. Even a region of where the country is before it was named Tanzania is rich in history. Um, if y'all didn't know, I think it's a... Um, Uh, uh, like slave dungeon over there somewhere in Tanzania I think I, I have to go visit that you know I'm big on my um researching our history and stuff but um what else I really haven't had a taste of the music yet from Tanzania Got the name of the uh the largest tribe inside of Tanzania. Yeah. But our Swahili, every day we wake up, we speak a little Swahili to each other. Greetings. We greet each other, you know. And um I also been watching let me give my shout outs to my uh Tanzania uh repatriates. Um unapologetic nomads in Tanzania. At this moment, um, T3 and me, shout out to y'all. They in Tanzania. Uh, Mark meets Africa. Um, Chosen Queen. Y'all go subscribe to all of those channels and y'all can get a view of what Tanzania looks like and a, a very good view and understanding. I watch these channels very often. I rarely miss a video. And if I do, I just go back, you know. <laughs> but that's that, that that's just the life when you about to um I wanna say following the steps of somebody else, but you've been planning the same thing, it's just they already did it before you. So shout out to all y'all man. Y'all the real We are how you say this? We are the, the repatriates, the black Americans, black Europeans, uh, Caribbeans from the islands moving to Africa and building a relationship with the Africans on the ground and the, trying our best to develop certain areas. We are who, we are who the the masses of people in about 15, 20 years, maybe 10 years, when they see Africa fully at its potential, I'm talking about infrastructure and, you know, um, even some of the laws and stuff gets changed and to, to favor the people better. Uh, I know Rwanda threw out a whole lot of colonial laws and the other countries got to follow suit. So... Once every other thriving country sees Africa, I mean continent and country, sees Africa fully developed or even about 70% developed in every region and every country. And it's being advertised over all y'all TVs and inside the movie. Y'all see how Netflix doing. They got whole African sections now of movies and stuff like that, so... Um, the advertisement of Africa is what's about to bring most of y'all to Africa. But the spirit that's in me and a lot of other people, including the people that I name, it's not about an advertisement. Nobody told us. It just came in our minds to just be like, man, what is it like? Or... With me, it wasn't even, it was just like, I got to get out of this. I got to get from under this law right here. And this pressure, this system, I just got to get away from it because I see too many people who following it. A perfect example, like the gay thing. Gay wasn't this big 10 years ago. All right. Gay wasn't this big 15 years ago. 
But you see, it's being advertised, though. It's everywhere now. And the more you advertise something, the more people gonna want it. I heard a lot of people say they was gay for pay. Like, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We gotta do way better. So I had to leave this motherfucking uh, American society. And my research led me to Africa. Research took me to a different couple places. But then why not? But when Africa hit my mind, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, this is what we doing. And my lady, my queen, she was right with it. Oh my God, Africa is that big? It's 54 countries? It's this many people over there? Man. Yeah. So it blew our minds. And uh, we most definitely going. And I want to uh, touch on this point too. Don't think we just some fools now. I be seeing a lot of people who repatriate over there. And they get took advantage of and stuff like that. We, like I said, we already practicing a little bit of language. And we not going to be master Swahili speakers when we get over there. Of course not. Nobody is. But I got a, I got a different background than a lot of these people going over there do. Because I was, I was in the streets, as you can say. Saw so all the hustle and bustle and making deals and stuff like that. The bargain, uh, bargaining system. I come from that already. You know what I'm saying? I come from that. It's going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Learning the um, currency exchange and stuff like that. But uh, I'm already watching people who doing it already and basically showing us. But, man, I hope everybody who already landed on the continent is thriving. If if it's not going so good for you, I hope it turns around for you. Um, for my people who stand in America, man, I hope America just does. I'm gonna tell you where I see America going right now. I see a whole lot of immigrants who came to America uh, over the years and recently, and about to be or already have gotten a citizenship in America. And these people are not lazy people. And that's what I'm trying to get to. The black Americans here that, that's been here, not all of us, but most of us is just lazy. We don't know what to do if we don't have a job. If we don't fill out a job application and have a resume or something that we already had a job experience somewhere and a job not hiring, most black men turn straight to drugs. They don't have an idea of going to go spend your last money on some tools and, and create a service for yourself. Um, the women, they can't get that job. They can't feed them kids right away. It's not nothing creative that they come up with to help themselves. They sell themselves. Whether it's teasing you for some money or giving you their full self for some money. And, um, or we taking, we taking from each other too. We not going to the suburbs where the other people at who are pressing us at. Taking from them because we know that they got it. We taking a risk on each other knowing damn well we ain't got it. So it's like, come on y'all, we gotta, we gotta do way better. And um, I want to let y'all know that this is my clothing brand. Go check out my Instagram page, Sunchild Clothing, Omo Arun. These shirts not available yet, but very soon I hope to get them available. And um, somebody help me out with uh, tags too. Like on the tags, on your shirt, tag. Let me know a good service that I can, um, a good company or somebody that I can have do my tags but um that's all i got for y'all today um let me see that i hit all my points mm. yep yep mm -hmm. we good how you say this word in swahili um give me a minute give me a minute it's coming to me
Tuwana Netina. Tuwana Netina. See you soon.